Hey there, it's Michael. Well, this week I'm inside because it's way too cold outside, plus college football's on. The fireplace will get going here in a sec. But in the meantime, I want to take you back to that second date I referenced in the blog post. The day after, I was stuck. I didn't know what to do. I was still so blown away by our chat, the whole, hey, don't tell me you're going to call me if you're not going to call me chat. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. Now, to be honest, I should have called her as soon as I got home, but I didn't. But I knew this. I knew I had to see her again. I was head over heels. So I set my intentions to call her the next day when I was out in my sales territory. And that's just what I did despite my nerves. And boy, was I nervous. I went out to my territory, found a building and a payphone. Yes, a payphone because I didn't have a cell phone back then. I put a quarter into the slot. Could be the best use of a quarter in my lifetime ever. And we had a great conversation. Asked her out for a third date. And the rest, as they say, is history. Come May of 2020, we will be married 26 years, which in my camp is definitely awesome sauce. Now, what I didn't realize back then, our second date provided some very valuable lessons, like how to overcome a bad date or a bad moment, setting expectations, alignment, integrity, and if you wanna have more joy and success in your life, you have to do it today, tomorrow, and the next day. This holiday weekend, we're finishing up Thanksgiving. We have broken bread probably too much. We have given thanks. We have posted on social media like crazy how into gratitude we are, which is great because I love gratitude. But what about tomorrow? What do we do tomorrow? Does gratitude become a way of life or do we just go back to our old ways? Because if we really want more joy and success in our lives, in our careers, whether we're talking about gratitude or a second date into a third date or maybe just a change initiative at work, well, we need to set expectations. We need the resilience to bounce back from a bad moment or a bad date. And we also need alignment and integrity with our words and our actions and the commitment to show up. To paraphrase the great Zig Ziglar, gratitude and trust building, well, they're like motivation and bathing. They work best when you do them day after day after day. In my vernacular, it's all about, you know, whether or not you're, you keep pedaling, keep pedaling towards that big vision that you have. Because if we don't show up, all we're doing is probably bad marketing to ourselves and to those in our Peloton. Now, I hope you had a awesome sauce Thanksgiving. Please scroll down, say hello. And as always, I hope you have fun storming the castle. And don't forget that we have a couple specials on Cyber Monday and Giving Tuesday that I think you'll be interested in. They will help create more joy and success in your lives. And until next week, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.